be like, mm, me and you don't rock like that no more, so I am not gonna answer your phone call. Okay, toodles, bye. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. Did you miss me? Cause I missed y'all. <laughs> I missed you so much. <laughs> Let's get right into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos. Don't forget to share them. Leave comments in the comment box below with any ideas that you want. I know you guys have questions about my bindi and my choker and they are both from Nish Kami. I will leave her in the description box below as well if you want to purchase any of these items. So in slew of it being Women's History Month, I thought of something that affect women so much is a breakup. <laughs> and how do we get over it without like stressing and stalking our man or our ex okay so as you all know I recently went through a breakup and it could be really challenging especially when it's unexpected like even if there's a whole bunch of like drama going on in the relationship and you feel like you always want to break up it never really happens you guys get what I'm saying let's let's keep it real let's keep it funky so when one party um, decides to end the relationship with either party, it's still kind of abrupt because even though the person ended it, it's not something that, um, so not most of the time, it's not something that they sat around and like were thinking about constantly. There are certain things may have happened and triggered them to go that way. So that's enough talking about them. Let's talk about you and us and figure this out. So one thing I would say is to kind of uh, release any communication, social media, uh, emails, phone numbers, whatever it is. If you have to go as far as even blocking the person, um, that would help you as well because you won't be forced to like um, reach out to them uh, you won't be forced to respond to them when they respond. They send a message to you. Um, yeah, just cut off all communication because continuing to communicate with this ex, especially if you guys have no desire to get back together, no chance of you guys getting back together. I would say cut off all communication do not engage in any flirting or anything because it's just going to leave mixed signal signals especially for you because that person has already moved on or whatever and you're sitting there pining over them and 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 communicating with them but that's not helping you move on cut off all communication two don't sit there and trash talk them all the time have your friends that you talk to once in a while about what's going on but every conversation should not be consumed about your ex because now everything is about your ex your ex did this your ex did that now all you're gonna do is think about them how are you gonna get over your ex if all you're doing is thinking about what they did to you how they did to it to you and all this stuff and all like trust me it's hard because i had to realize like look yes this person did x y and z i'm not gonna get an apology for it and at this point does it really matter it depends on what they did to you apologies are necessary but don't expect don't expect them and don't sit there thinking about all the things that they did to you because that's not gonna help. That's just gonna let you fester in the pain even longer. The key for forgiveness is not so you just forgive them and move on. You forgive them so you forgive yourself. Like once you forgive that person, it kind of relinquishes every connection that you have and you are able to just let that shit go. Trust me, from a Gemini, an emotional person, it is hard, it is shitty, it is effed up, but you have to not dwell on it. Find other solutions to fix the problem and not even worry about them anymore. Number three, to get over a breakup, a really rough breakup, is to go out. 
don't sit in the house i find with me me sitting in the house just makes me think of my relationship of my ex relationship makes me think of how lonely I am, makes me think that I don't have nobody there, I don't have a support system, and none of this is true at all. You have these things, you're not alone. It is hard, but don't sit in the house. Keep yourself busy. Go to the movies, go take yourself to lunch, go to the gym, do something that takes your mind off of what's going on. Hustle, whatever your hustle is right now, hustle on it hard. Get your creative juices flowing. Don't sit and pine in your stoop, in your room. Like I think about what is he doing? What? Why did this happen? Oh, how did he move on so quickly? Da da da. That's another thing. Some dudes move on like this. And this ain't to bash no dudes or girls. Some, in general, some people move on like that. And you sit down and you wonder, bro, was this even like the real deal? How do you, but you have to realize some people are just different. They could move on, but still be pining over you. They can move on and still be hurt. They can move on and just simply, that's just what they wanted to do. They really, that's how they are able to cope. They need somebody else next to them. You don't know the situation, but don't let that make you go crazy. Because trust me, baby girl, I've been through that road where I sit down and be like, how is this? Why is this? Who is she? How does she know me? And I don't know her. It's just, it's just, it's just. Last but not least is have your support system. Yes, yes, breakups are hard. Yes, a lot of people don't want to hear you talk about it all the time, but you have your core friends, your core family, your core support system that will be there for you when you just are having a rough day. I feel like don't be afraid to express how hurt you are. Don't be afraid to think that they don't want to hear because you know who your support system is and you know they know who you truly are and you're just going through a rough patch right now and you just need to just like release 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 and let me tell you a, a nice bottle of wine <laughs> a nice bottle of wine and turning on that netflix honey and watching grace and frankie that show is funny bro on netflix you just need a good laugh don't sit there watching no sob stories or no love stories because then it's gonna make you feel some sort of way don't go watching no killer stuff either because then it's gonna make you feel like you want to hurt somebody don't do that not dwell on your ex because that's he is he or she is not dwelling on you that's how it puts in my head anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe what are your ways that you get over a bad breakup how do you get over with your ex how do you move on gracefully and positively and you know a better person at the end of the day you know and not heartbroken and just hate men and cold-hearted how do you not get to that position <laughs> leave comments in the comment box below okay guys i will see you on sunday i have a video for you i shall see you then see you later tiger lilies toodles uh, crash course let me have the money in the